What is up guys, here again, welcome back to Men of War Assault Squad 2, and of course Rob's Realism Mod back here again on a Saturday with some more World War 2 action. This is the third and final video and battle part of the mini-series here set during the winter campaign of 1941 and 42. Uh, after this one, in terms of World War II content on the Eastern Front, we're going to move on to other battles. Also, quite possibly Stalingrad, which began uh, later on during the spring or summer, rather, and that is going to go on until 1943. But during that period, we will be able to um, recreate tons of battles in the area. This is, however, further north, closer to Moscow. We're gonna see if the Germans can break through. Uh, as we all know, uh, Hitler at the time wanted to focus on the front further south towards the um, the oil fields near Stalingrad and whatnot, um, and he didn't push further, which many claim is a mistake. He should have focused on taking out Moscow instead of overstretching himself in the south. Um, but that historical talk is beyond the point. We're going to enjoy a very, very cool Soviet line defense. It's pretty much just one line, but it's more of a base. This is battalion headquarters, just a few miles away from the, actually not that far, but maybe a mile away from uh, the town that we saw um, in battle many, many days ago. Um, the Germans are now about to stage their third and final attack. Let's see if they can break this Soviet defense. There's a lot of AT cannons, or AT guns rather. We have a few AA guns as well that are now being used in an anti-tank purpose, as well as anti-infantry, if push comes to shove. We also have a T-60, beautiful, uh, which was replaced by the T-70 later on. Uh, lots of infantry, uh, mortars, heavier mortars this time around. This is the uh, heavier mortar back here that needs a uh, wagon to trail it. Uh, this isn't a, uh, you can't really pick this up and walk away. So I believe this is over 100 mil. The other one is like 60 to 90. This is like, what, 150? 50, 120? Not entirely sure. It could be a little less than that. I'll have to look that up later, just out of pure curiosity. Uh, and we've got a T-34 back there in reserve. This is a big base. It's going to be a very big battle, and I'm very excited to see the Germans have a go at this. It's going to be one hell of a fight. If they can break through, then we will have to sort of fictionally stage battles closer to Moscow, maybe even the Siege of Moscow. That never happened. That would be a super cool um, his, uh, fictional Let's uh, go battle. ahead and click start. Let's enjoy this weekend battle. Uh, the Germans are going to start off with a nice artillery barrage. We're going to see what kind of hits they can score here on the Russian or the Soviet positions. Um, we are in, indeed near Moscow, so it is very logical and valid to say Russia instead at this time. Oh, big explosions back there. So far, no really good hits. Oh, there we go. That's beautiful. What a... Oh, well, that was a beautiful hit. Right behind the lines there. And now the attack has begun. German infantry is storming the uh, Soviet-held trenches. We have infantry, AT guns, and tanks returning fire. We've got half-tracks carrying German infantry moving forwards the line. We also have uh, Stugs and Panzer Threes joining in on the assault. But the uh, Russian AT uh, capacity is quite severe. It's very immense. It'll be very hard for German armor to break through. Infantry is going to have to play a key role in this assault. We will simply have to see how they do. Let's have a look here at the Russian positions. That's awesome. I love the T-60. That's a 20 millimeter autocannon that is just uh, pairing up the uh, the uh, German infantry as it moves its turret to the left and right, hoping to get some good hits on groups of German infantry. And I'm sure it does a lot of damage and has done a lot of damage so far. 
Fortunately for the German infantry here in front of the screen that are moving up on the right side, a lot of this Soviet infantry has been killed by the artillery, so they're going to have an easier time storming the sandbags and trenches over here. There's not as much infantry covering this flank anymore. Besides, the T-60, which is a real infantry killer, is uh, occupied here on the left side. So they're going to have a hard time breaking through here. I think we're waiting for more armor now. And uh, I thought I'd mention it before it's too late. I might be controlling a few Soviets later on, uh, just because their guns might lose crewmen during the action and they should be recruited as guns are quite valuable. Uh, I've done so with the Germans as I controlled them previously. Um, but in this case, they will be fairly autonomous. They don't need much controlling. They're going to be able to, do, to get the job done on their own. We will see if we're going to get a fictional battle or siege of Moscow, like an actual battle in the city. Or, um, or if we're going to end here and have an historical outcome that will uh, you know, take us further into 1942 with a realistic aim. Or historical aim, so to speak. I love how all the AT guns are now targeting infantry with HE shells. Uh, AT guns and mortars firing at the infantry. It's just hell on earth out there. They're going to have a really hard time advancing. Right now they're trying to crawl ahead. There's mortars dropping overhead. Uh, there's a few differences in elevation that'll give them a little break in terms of, um, you know, cover. It'll, it'll stop them from taking too much direct fire. But mortars, as you can tell, are still dropping overhead and they're going to be avoiding any kind of elevation differences. They do not care. Look at that 20 mil just rip up the snow. It's disgusting. And then mortars to finish it off. Oh, but look at this. The Germans have received some uh, armor. Some Panzer threes are rolling in to support. Maybe they can now knock out that T-60. That would be very helpful for the German assault. We're going to follow the tanks now for a while to see how they do. And what they will target. Oh, there goes one tank. It is completely down. And there goes a second tank. And there goes a third tank. Oh, my. Ruthless. Absolutely insane. We might see three huge explosions here at any time now. The Germans continue their advance. Here comes the next company of infantry moving up. Let's see if they make any progress. There seems to be a fairly fairly straight line here across the battlefield where no German infantry has passed. They're staying down. They're using the uh, the artillery-made foxholes here. The craters for cover. They're also hiding behind collapsed trees. They're doing as much as they can. They need help by armor, though, to get further in. So let's see if uh, the German high command grants them another wave of armor. With all the AT support, currently here it's really really hard for the uh, the tanks to get through so the infantry needs to pitch in and uh, take down some of these guns but they are still all crewed by uh, by Russian soldiers and there's a lot here they were they were here primarily to be used against uh, air assaults that the Luftwaffe would use to target the, uh, the the battalion command and you know the supply routes and everything back here but right now they're uh, they're being used in a different capacity, just like the Flak 36 and the and the English or the British Vickers and other guns that are deadly against tanks as well. Yeah, right now they're targeting the infantry. They're not being given much of a break here. But they're trying to get closer, and I do believe we're doing quite a lot of good damage to the the, the trench occupants. Look at the Soviets over here. They're doing okay so far. We have a Commissar here with the TT. Lots of Mosin Nagans and a few PPSH submachine guns. Uh, it looks like we've lost the machine gunner here in the trench with the DP. And that T-60 is just, like, just destroying the hill. It's absolutely it's disgusting. It, it's... Uh, it's really gut-wrenching to watch, because this is a real infantry killer. The next wave of Panzer III's um, should target this guy, because if, if they can knock it out, the infantry will have an easier time advancing. Um, I mean, look at it. It just needs to move its turret from the left and right while, while uh, unleashing a salvo of those 20 mil, 20 mil rounds. And uh, it'll destroy anything it passes. 
It'll be interesting to see the infantry uh, kill count on this guy later on. In case uh, it survives, we will have to find out. It looks like another wave of Panzer threes has made it in now to the battlefield. And they're already taking AP fire. They're relentlessly being targeted here, and there's there's not much to say. That's a that's an absolute must for the, the Soviets if they are to survive this. As soon as those AT guns go down, it'll be significantly harder for the Russians to hold their base. Oh, that Panzer took a few... Oh, that T-60 is being targeted, though. I like to see that. I like to see that. I wonder if they can knock it out. Oh, that was a good hit. If that doesn't knock a T-60 out, I don't know what will. Oh, a second round hit the T-60, but it's not out. What is this frickin' sorcery? Look, right to the hull there, right below the gunner. He must have barely just made it. Well, there goes a third wave of Panzer threes. They are all knocked out. But the AT guns were less efficient this time. Maybe a third wave will be just what they need. And it, by the look of it, it looks like uh, the German infantry has gotten closer to the uh, the sandbag line here, to the first trench line. This, this place is entirely cleaned out. Uh, over here by this AT gun, uh, casualties are starting to pack up as well and stack up. This right trench is looking pretty okay right now. They're still holding. That T60 is primarily, primarily targeting the right side here. Um, but over here on this side, it's really starting to empty up. The back trench here is now forced to open up on the attacking Germans as they lost their entire, entire sandbag line there to an art artillery strike. Absolutely gruesome. The sad thing for the Germans is that that might just be the biggest hit they've dealt to the uh, Soviets so far, which wasn't even part of the German ground attack. It was all prior to it during the artillery barrage. So uh, that's, that's a little disheartening for the Germans. But they are still moving up. Oh, I hear more Panzers. Am I right to say that we've got more Panzers coming in? Oh, I hear it. Oh, absolutely true. We got one more wave coming in now. I wonder how much the High Command will grant us. We've exhausted a lot of infantry now. We've lost hundreds of men attacking. Um, it's been dis disgusting. This has been a very, very deadly battle for all of us. Um, oh, man. And uh, if I were the, the Russians now, I'd uh, load AT instead of HE, but they've been so occupied attacking uh, infantry so far, they might not see the armor coming. We will see what happens. Let's see if they can score a good hit on the T-60. Oh, seriously, how is it not knocked out? Did the Panzer threes have to get closer? There goes another Panzer three. And a fourth hit! And there goes the Panzer III. Is it still active or has it been killed now? It's not firing. It is firing! What the fuck? Fuck. What the hell is going on? Like, how? How are you still active? You've taken so many Panzer III rounds. They have not bounced. More than just one have penetrated. Listen, I, it's just... <laughs> what's going on here? That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. Uh, there's just tanks all over the battlefield here. They're not getting through, but the infantry is getting closer. Oops. Kicked myself off the map. Back on it. Uh, and some are actually starting to get closer now. The trenches are starting to... Uh... Oh, they're still holding. They're still holding. This commissar is not letting anyone retreat. Not one step backwards. Or you will be shot in the back. No, but for real. I don't think anyone would retreat. There's nothing to retreat to right now. We're holding the, the, the trench lines here. Morale is pretty high. Morale is high. I love the scale of a battle like this when you look at a dif distance and you see all the smoke pillars. and It's beautiful, isn't it? It, it really is nice. Oh, 
awesome. I wanted to see that shot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna we're gonna take a look later and see if the T60 has lost any crewmen. Oh man, they are still going. Oh, looks like Russian reinforcements have arrived. More soldiers are uh, advancing here to the sandbags. They're going to occupy the front line. We have a commissar leading the uh, reinforcements here. Look at him. That's awesome. Hurra! Look at that. How cool is that? That's a lot of, a lot of Russian infantry moving in here. Just arrived as reinforcements, and they're going to... They're gonna help secure the, the line here. They're gonna be running up to the left to hold the trenches. Beautiful. Oh, they're even counterattacking. Oh, that's pretty cool. They're going to be pushed back a little bit. They're going to be discouraged from leaving their own defenses. There's a lot of German infantry out there, and they're still putting a lot of fire on the defenders. I have to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't look like we're breaking through here, and that T60 is still alive. Uh, three waves, like nine, actually ten Panzer threes and two Stug twos, Stug threes. Sorry, three pa uh, ten Panzer threes and two Stug threes could not knock out the T60. Despite hitting it several times, it is still combat active, and it's still opening up at the German infantry. It's just not allowing anyone to get any closer. A lot of these Russian AT guns have been disabled, as I'm looking at it right now. Not that they need any recruiting, because let me tell you, the battle is pretty much over. German infantry is on the run. They are retreating. They cannot continue this assault. They are being pushed back to an extent where the Soviets are almost counterattacking. The, the tide has turned here in the north, and the Soviet counteroffensive has begun. Let me have a look here at the T60 and let's see what kind of what kind of numbers we're talking about. 159 casualties dealt to the German infantry with a 20 millimeter. Tinas, this guy's gonna be awarded the, uh, the 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 red banner or the the red star and what kind what not. Forty guys and three tanks on this one. Fifty two guys and nine tanks on this dude. Three tanks, 40, uh, 40 guys. Two tanks, twenty two guys. Twenty one guys. Twenty one. Twenty one. Twenty one. Nothing else. Wow. I thousand people. I uh, like what has this belt mortar done in damage? Has this one even fired yet? 98 guys, 100 soldiers killed, 100, this guy got here, got 40, 50, or 150, 300, uh, 350, about 400, 400, 400. oh my god, like 450 to 500 guys killed just using the weapon here, look at all the infantry that are still alive in here, now they're counterattacking. attacking look at them, they're pushing the Germans back, this is the first victory we've had so far in this winter campaign, like, do we have any soldiers alive down here that have, like, been in the trenches for, like, throughout the entire battle that are alive? This guy's killed two people with his TT. Uh, all the other infantrymen are actually dead. Like, so there's no casualty score to check there. What about... And this commissar is miraculously alive as well. It's only the privileged guys that have survived here. The All the other ones have been killed. Shot dead. There's literally, literally like, no one with a regular weapon alive in the trenches. Like, back here, but they haven't seen so much action. Five kills. Like, the front guys must have killed 10, 20 each, at least. They're pushing them back now. Let's take this T-60 out for a little spin. Let's just send it out there.
Hurra! Now the soldiers are returning. They've done what they came to do. The Germans have been pushed back. Hope you guys enjoyed this battle, and I'll see you guys soon again. Let's take a look at casualties. Oh, man. There's not even that many... Oh, is that a random mortar shell? There's not even that many, like, Germans to spot because... Well, there's a lot, but most of them have just been destroyed, killed. Just by the sheer amount of, of, of artillery and everything. Look at all the items. There's more items than... Uh, there's more weapons on the ground than there are uh, bodies. Absolutely insane. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys soon again. Ciao.